perfect, perfect. And maybe actually I'll get you just perfect. Yeah, do here. All right. And I'm gonna switch it so I can still see all of you. There we go. All right. Hello, gang. Can everyone hear me okay and see me okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you are all feeling as full of turkey and mashed potatoes as I am. Yes. And today's theme of our exercise class is helping us digest all that food. So get ready. Oh, oh. It'll be lots and lots of fun. So just a quick reminder. What's that? I said, just be kind. <laughs> Always. <laughs> it sometimes just looks different than what you're expecting. Okay. All right. So everyone, just make sure you have a nice, clear exercise space to work in. Um, Reminder that we can hear everything on your end. So if someone pops into the room to chat with you or your phone rings, anything like that, please just put yourself on mute. And then I welcome um, questions uh, throughout the class, especially if they're gonna be helpful with you completing an exercise. So if you're doing a move and you're going, this doesn't feel right, or oof, that kind of hurts, make sure you let me know so I can make sure everybody is having a great experience. All right. Just to let you know, Jill, I have to have my aortic valve replaced. They said I could attend the exercises, but not to exert myself. So I don't do things, you'll know why. Brilliant. You're still here, still moving, that's awesome. So nothing should feel like it's coming even close to straining for you. Yes. Perfect. Good. And have you got, and actually this is for everybody, um, if you've got a way to keep track of your heart rate and your O2 numbers, your O2 percentage, like an oxometer, um, a heart rate monitor, it's, those are really good tools to help you understand what your work rate is or when you might need to stop and take a rest. So if you do have one of those tools, um, just make sure it's close by and accessible, okay? Let's start with a hand on your belly because I'm gonna ask you to breathe in and I want just the hand on your belly to move away from your body. So it's a breath in, push that hand away and then breathing out through pursed lips. Good, breathing in and out through pursed lips. So again, the goal is to get that hand on your belly moving away, breathe in and out. Good, now let's breathe in as we reach a hand overhead. So it's a breath in, out through pursed lips. Breath in, out through pursed lips. Breath in, out through pursed lips. Breathe in, out through pursed lips. And both hands up together. Breath in, out through pursed lips. Breath in, out through pursed lips. And one last time, breath in, out through pursed lips. Brilliant. Now do your best to maintain that breathing pattern gang of breathing out through pursed lips. And we're just gonna start getting a little bit more active movement. So taking your hands and we're just gonna draw a circle in one direction. Now, as we do that, I can actually see that you are not able to see my feet. So let me just quickly adjust here for us. That'll make things a touch easier as we go. Brilliant, that's better. 
So we're just doing those circles. And let's get our heels lifting up and down. Good, heels up and down, heels up and down. Change directions of those circles and keep your heels moving up and down and maintain that breathing pattern. Brilliant job, everybody. All right, and let's get our hands moving in a figure eight. So draw a figure eight with your hands as we get our feet, our heels moving up and down. And let's actually switch it up. So now your heels stay down, your toes move up and down. And this is where you might wanna move those feet a little bit more in front of you, pull those feet up, keeping the heels down. Good. And let's see if we can change direction of that figure eight. <laughs> That's always a fun one. Good, keep those feet moving if we can, just like you're tapping your foot to the music. You should be feeling it at the front of your shin. There we go. And shake up those arms. Now let's get one foot tapping at a time. You can play in your head one of your favorite songs. That you love to tap to, but nobody starts singing, I beg you. <laughs> Unless you're on mute. <laughs> I'm sure some of you are actually fantastic singers. Now, as we're tapping one foot at a time, I'm going to get you reaching your arm forward. There we go. So lift up one foot, keeping the heel down. We're tapping those feet and reaching out one hand at a time. Good work, everybody. Now we're gonna change it up a little bit, a little bit more fun. Each foot is gonna tap twice. So try to keep your hands moving in that consistent pattern. So one, two, one, two, or whatever your pattern is. And now we're tapping one, two, switch, 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 one, two, switch. One, two, switch. There we go. Wow, I'm impressed. Now, I can't see any of your feet, but I am impressed. Probably just as well. <laughs> so it's up to you to make sure you're following along as best you can, because I just see a lot of floating heads and moving arms. There we go. I didn't, think, I didn't think it was more fun. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now we're reaching across our body, everybody. So reach across. Now you can allow your shoulders to rotate slightly, um, but what I want is your hips to stay still. So reach across, hips stay still. Good. Now, as we do that, I'm going to get your foot crossing over and uncross. So cross over, uncross, over, uncross. There we go. And once again, maintain that breathing pattern. Breathing out through pursed lips. There 
There we go, team. All right, let's get your arms moving double time. So see if you can get your arms moving double time, but your feet still go at the same pace. No, I can't do that. <laughs> just try. It doesn't have to look pretty. <laughs> it's all about just getting our brains to have to think and struggle a little bit because that's how our brains get better at thinking. You can tell no, the Barry, more I talk. On you, Barry, you can do it. <laughs> there we go. And rest. Brilliant. Now step and back, step and back step back step back good one after the other step your foot forward and then bring it back good now opposite arm reaches up your shoulder or neck do not like overhead movements feel free just to reach out in front of you there we go all right, now your arms are going to go at the same speed. One, two, one, two. And I want your feet going double time. There we go. Double time with those feet. One, two, one, two, one, two. Brilliant. And slow it down. One, two, together. One, two, so your arm and leg are moving together. All right. And if you've been thinking ahead, now you know the arms are gonna move double time. So get your feet moving at that same pace. And now the arms go double time. There we go. So your arms are moving double time, but you want your legs to still go. One, two, one, two, one, two, or whatever your slower pace is. Keep breathing out through pursed lips. And stop there. Brilliant team. Now remember that purse slip breathing. Remember anytime you feel a little bit uh, out of breath, you want help catching your breath back. Focus on that recovery breathing and dropping down to your thighs, either on your hands or elbows, but leaning over slightly. That helps open your airway. So that is a recovery position just as long as your head doesn't drop, you keep it up, okay? So that's a great recovery position for you. Now, we're going to challenge ourselves as best you can, whatever a challenge for you is today, with some cardio intervals. And today we're gonna keep it a little bit shorter. We're gonna do 30 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. And we're gonna do three of the same exercise and then we're gonna have a longer rest. Does that make sense to everybody? Not really. No. Not really? That's okay. I'll guide us along. So, 30 seconds, we're gonna start with just our marching. For 30 seconds and off you go. So whatever you are able to do today, I want you aiming for about a seven out of 10 on the effort scale. So a 10 out of 10 would be going as, working as hard as you can, go, go, go. Uh, your three is kind of just moseying along. I want a seven. It's challenging. You're gonna be ready to stop at that 30 seconds but you can still maintain your breathing pattern. I sure like that moseying alone. <laughs> no, you gotta do more than moseying. Come on, Barry. 
and rest. Now, if you are somebody who needs to keep moving to help with rest, feel free to go a bit slower. You can keep your feet moving, keep your arms moving. Maybe you need to drop into that recovery position, but you better decide fast because we're starting again in three, two, and march 30 seconds. So we're doing this twice more. This is number two of three, and then we're gonna take a longer rest. So again, aim for that seven out of 10. You shouldn't feel exhausted. You also shouldn't feel like that was easy. There we go, last couple of seconds. Remember the higher you get those knees, the harder it is. And rest. So again, if you need to keep moving, awesome. If you need that recovery position, great. Remember to breathe out through pursed lips. And we're gonna do that one more time before a longer rest. Oh boy. And go. Marching. And if at any point you need a longer rest, please feel free to take it. This is your exercise class. You're in charge for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, team. Seven out of 10, march, march, march. It's gotta feel like you're putting forth some effort. You're doing fantastic. You're almost there. And rest. Brilliant. So now we're gonna have a full minute a great time for you to ask questions, a great time for you to socialize a little bit. Remind yourselves that this is fun and it's worth being here. Okay. I got a question. Um, sure. on, the week, on the weekend, I went over to Calgary and I cannot Ooh. believe the di difference in the breathing, you know, but then I found out afterwards, it's probably strictly elevation. Mm. Is that, affect a lot of people yeah oh yeah changes in elevation is huge theory um you know even if you look at the extreme examples um you know high level athletes will train in what, what's called hypoxic uh situations which is lower oxygen so they'll right. train at high high altitude oh that's like um, years back with mexico and the soccer mexico city yeah, okay. Yes, that's right. That's that right. Mean, and does that mean we all got to move to Alberta? No, it's higher there. Actually, yeah, it's a higher, well, it's a higher I'm, elevation. Oh, it's worse. Yeah, move if I could we're closer. Move to BC. If I could interject a little bit about that, because being that I'm waiting for a lung transplant, I'm constantly monitoring the air quality. There's mm. an app called Purple Air for anybody who's interested. And they have sensors in all cities around North America. And on the weekend, the air quality number, which uh, is usually around 20 would be a good day. It was four and five in the Calgary area. And on Vancouver mm. Island in the lower mainland, it was up around the 80 to 120. Oh, really? That's, that's interesting. That's <laughs> a directly result of the fires that were burning. Right. And it's really easy to see it. Okay. And it's something there we really... Go. I, w I wasn't aware of it until recently that it exists because it's outside of the rounds of the government ones, but it'll right. tell you why you're feeling breathless quite often. Ah, the okay. are there. And well, that was there a part of it. What's the my website? Son, my son lives in Calgary. And yesterday was an anomaly because here in Port Alberni, it went from 80s and 90s to 5 when the wind picked ah. up, and I've never seen it drop that quick. Wow. What and almost immediately I became... Again? I became where I didn't feel crippled. Oh, what? Uh, within wow. my mouth. Now, now repeat the site for us. Purple air. Purple air. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. It's, actually a, it's an air monitoring device you can purchase, but they also let you monitor it for free. Yeah, that's a great resource. Well, it's a very, quality. very great resource. I was the air quality here was two or one on the weekend. So that, you know, 
Yeah, yeah. big difference. Well, when you're looking at 500 monitoring stations, when you zoom out and you see that Washington State was up and there was some near the border that were 300, which is that's uh, basically that's if you bad. go near there. Yeah, so oh, brutal. Yeah, wow. live my life, live my life through that being able to keep me indoors. So, <laughs> well, it's it's good just to have that awareness for sure. Well, some days you wake up better. Well, for me, some days I wake up and I don't know if it's because my lungs have gotten worse or whatever. And I check on there quite often the correlations exist. So, uh, Absolutely. There we go. Yeah. Now, touching opposite hand to knee, guys. Good. Again, get some effort in there, whether you're seated or standing. And great, great resource. So once again, that was purple air. And that helps you monitor air quality around the country. So if you're going to be traveling um, or just if you want to know what it is in your city today or any given day, great, great resource. Thank you so much for bringing that up. So keep breathing out through purse lips, gang. And rest. Good. So again, if you need to keep moving a little bit, that's how you recover. I welcome you to do that. If you need to question. just breathe. Yes. What I wanted to know is when I breathe in, I breathe in, getting my stomach out, do I hold my breath for a certain number of counts or is it just breathe in and breathe out by first lips? No, when you're exercising, um, you're actually working, you should be working at a high enough level that you could not really hold your breath. So you don't want to be trying to do that because your body actually needs more consistent air because it's working harder. So you want just to keep a smooth breathing going on. And it's actually okay if you cannot even maintain belly breathing because that is our rest digest breathing, um, which is why it's important to do for recovery. But when you're exercising a bit harder, just trying to breathe how you can and breathe out through pursed lips is key because that's what helps you get more air out so that you're not feeling as breathless. Thank you. I just need to for me. You betcha. And once again, two of three, touching across. Yeah, that's a great question. So as we're exercising, gang, keep up just a steady breathing pattern in and out. So again, I've said in the past, if, even if you're panting, because you're working hard, your breathing rate is a ha, 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 do your best to breathe out through pursed lips. So it might sound like a okay. Almost there. Remember that seven out of ten is the goal. And just seven out of 10 of what you are able to give today and rest. Perfect, so keep moving lightly if you need to. You can get into that recovery position. Uh, we've got one last one in a couple seconds here. Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or a eh, I'm okay. Oh, good. There we go. I'm seeing a lot of thumbs up. That's awesome. All right, last one. Touch across. Breathing steadily. Keep exhaling through pursed lips. Remind yourself how awesome you are. You got here today and you're working hard. Last couple of seconds, three, two, and rest. Well done. So we got that longer rest. Uh, now, if you've got another question, great time for a sip of water. Make sure you are sipping water throughout. Our son flew in from Edmonton, and as soon as he got off the plane in Kelowna, he had a hard time breathing. Oh, did he? Yep. So it has to be smoke, okay? 
in the air? There's, there's a variety of reasons, you know, and, you know, the Okanagan especially tends to have um, more allergens in the air, whether it's from all the orchards um, and pollen and things like that. Um, I've, I've heard, and there's not, I haven't seen a lot of scientific evidence around this yet, but I've heard lots of stories of people, no matter where they go, if it's a different environment, they're just not quite used to it. Yeah. So there'll be some sort of an impact. I think it's traffic in Kelowna creating it. <laughs> it, can, it can be just the instantaneous surge of blood pressure and road rage, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so all the wineries jill uh jill are we trying now to get our heart rate up that's right anytime i get you at that higher work rate level that's right i want your heart rate going up is there is there any uh, sort of guideline for how high we want it to get for somebody who's 80. you know what it's it's very individualistic and it depends on if you're on any sort of medications, because um, some people are on things like a beta blocker, and um, <laughs> that's a type of medicine that inhibits how high up your heart rate can go. So, um, but over a hundred is okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If anybody so, here, is, if anybody here is not on medication, please raise your hand. <laughs> yeah. Again, medication that specifically inhibits your heart rate or blood pressure. Yeah. Um, and it depends on what it's acting on. So um, okay. aim for, you know, on ballpark, bar, ballpark, aim around 100, 110. Okay. Or you just go by feel. You know that you are panting, you're breathing heavily mm -hmm. um, or heavier but you're still able to maintain your breathing pattern. You don't feel shaky. You don't feel dizzy. Those are all signs that you need to stop. Um, but push yourself to your, oh, this is hard, but I still feel okay. Yeah, but you see, like I, when we just finished then, I was up to 185 and then just sitting for a few minutes while you were talking, then it's back down to 100. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, if you felt okay, Barry, yeah, that 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 absolutely can be okay. And again, once you stop and it starts coming down right away, that it just proves I was following your exercises. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Well, there we go. KT, we got to get going into our uh, next set here. I love the conversation. Keep it coming. Uh, but our next series, we're just going to do one more series of our of our cardio. Um, but we're going to change it a little bit now. So the movement we're going to do is I want you stepping side to side, either seated or standing. If you're standing, be aware that this is a bit trickier on your balance. So have support close by and just stepping side to side. And we're going to go for a full minute now. So you might not be able to work as hard as you were for the 30 seconds. But I still want you challenging yourself. Remember the motto of our class is challenging yet doable. That's the balance. So side to side. Good. We're doing a little bit more of a cardio focus today here, team. Yeah. Woo! The guideline re heart rate is 220 minus your age. So that would mean that Richard is 35. <laughs> Good for you, Richard. So that's, that's the typical textbook general guideline for your predicted maximum heart rate. Yes. Um, but it, it doesn't work as well for people over 60. Um, I believe the formula is your age uh, two, uh, what is it? It's like two, 
rest no. there. I think it's 210 minus your age times 0.25 or something. It, it, that's not quite it. I'd have to relook it up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't quite have the brain for memorizing formulas, but <laughs> yeah. we have different ways to make it more specific for sure. Get into that recovery breathing. It's a short rest. We just focused on our legs and we're going to give them a break by doing a minute of upper body <coughs> cardio. So it's a way of getting our body working. It's not a huge rest for the lungs, but I know you can do it. So we're going to get into some shadow boxing game. So put up your dukes. Let's get right to it. <coughs> Nobody followed up. Hit me with your best shot. Go. So punching in front of you. Remember, movement with purpose. Uh, you're going to get more out of than just moving your arm. So actual punching has a greater fitness benefit here than just reaching your arm out in front of you. Maintain your breathing pattern. Brilliant. Remember you can throw some uppercuts up in there if you'd like. I know some people like their Hail Marys. <laughs> I get to see lots of fighting techniques in our shadow boxing cardio. And you're almost there. Well done team. And rest. So again, feel free to go into that recovery position. Feel free to gently keep your arms or your legs moving. That helps some of you regain your breath. We've got two more minutes total of cardio, uh, and then we're gonna focus a little bit more on your uh, balance, okay? Which I don't think a lot of you are super excited for, but it'll be okay. <laughs> He'll be there to catch us, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. When I work with, I work with a 93 year old. She's awesome. Three times a week. And uh, she likes to joke around with me a lot. So anytime we work on balance, she looks at me and she goes, so I have to be ready to catch you. <laughs> and I go, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're okay. You focus on yourself. She's like, all right. She goes, don't fall on me. I go, I won't. <laughs> okay, team, back to working with the lower body. Everybody has their favorite. We are going to do a couple sit to stands for a minute. So you can come up as far as you'd like, even if it's just part way, or you can come all the way up, all the way down. And if you are going to stay seated, just Tighten up your legs hard and then relax them. Ready? A minute, go. So either tighten your legs and then relax. Really push those feet into the ground. You've got it. Or we're all the way up, all the way down. Excellent. Now this is an exercise where breathing out on your way up is helpful. Make sure you have balance support close by if you're standing up and down. And just listen to your body. Make sure you're not feeling dizzy or lightheaded or shaky. Those are all signs that you need to pause for a moment and take a rest. Good work, everybody. And rest. Well done, team. So again, a little bit of a longer rest, because anytime we do those sit to stands, 
those are big muscles doing a big job. That's why we get pretty out of breath with that specific movement or with climbing stairs. So feel free to keep moving gently. Feel free to get into your recovery position. And then we've got one final cardio exercise of the day. All right. So a couple more seconds to catch your breath. So while you catch your breath, a review from last week. Your top left corner is one. So everybody point to one. The top right corner is two. The bottom right corner is three. And the bottom left corner is four. So we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, and again, one, two, three, four. So we're, we're gonna play a little bit of a game for that final minute and a little bit of cardio, okay? And all I want you to do is I want you to get moving both hands to one of those corners. So if I say one, both hands go up to one, two, it goes two, three, and four. And we might get even faster than that. Is everybody ready? Yep. All right. So one, and always come back to center. Two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, one, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, warm up's done. Two, three, two, one, 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 two, two, four, four, three, four, two, one, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, two, one, three, two, four, one, four, two, three, one, rest. <laughs> Whew. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, I, I saw when uh, I saw that Ivy was doing a one when she should have been doing a three. The story of my life. I turn left when everybody else goes home. You know, Ivy, that's an okay thing for life, but boy, I sure hope you don't do that while driving. What a um, tattle tailor. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. I thought everyone was supposed to just be watching me. <laughs> oh, uh, so good fun. fun. You know, I'm just it. glad because there are a couple of you that have someone beside you. And I'm really glad that I didn't see any accidental or purposeful hitting happening. <laughs> yep, well no, done. I don't want you to teach that boxing thing to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, that's okay. Maybe one of these days I'll get in a cleaning exercise. Uh -huh. No, 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 that's fine. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I broke my ribs, you know. Cleaning can oh, be no. for your health. I thought you were climbing on something. Well, I was cleaning, and then I climbed up to clean around the fireplace and tripped and went for a flying leap. Oh. That's oh. right. Ouch. Ouch. Friday, Ouch. I have my last physiotherapy for my ribs. Yeah. Oh. Yay. Good. Good, good. And I want to know why men get one extra rib. Do they? According All of them? The, huh? must, be, must be in the Bible somewhere. That's where it is. <laughs> I never read it, but I was told by a good atheist friend. Well, we gave up <laughs> one of our ribs I for, the la for the ladies. <laughs> yeah. I, eat more. I didn't think that was a <laughs> medical fact. Thing, though. 
I might have to do a, a rib review. It might be explained by the extra long torso on yeah. average. It might be more of a, a generalization thing rather than an every single thing. However, we're going to do some balance because we worked your lungs really hard. I think they need a little bit of a break. So we have two options. You can stay seated if you're more comfortable with that, either on your chair or you can sit on a pillow or, or rolled up towel to make it more challenging. Um, but I do encourage you to stand um, and you can stand beside or behind your chair. All right. And if you're staying seated, just make sure you're at the edge of your seat. You're not relying on the backrest and just copy the movement from a seated position. All right. So from here, keep it simple to start. We're going to stand on one foot and lift up one knee and raise the opposite arm. Hold two, three, four, five, and switch. Now, when we lift up one knee, I want your other leg pressing down into the ground. So it's up. This leg is pushing down. Three, four, five. So that bum muscle should be strong and tight. Switch, go slow. Up, hold. Two, three, four, five. Switch. And up. One, two, three, four, five, and switch. And up. One, two, three, four, five, switch. And up. One, two, three, four, five, and down. All right. Now for this next one, you're going to be standing on one leg. Now your other leg is either dragging on the ground, which is going to provide more balance support for you, or it's going to lift off the ground. Maybe I'll stand in front of the chair. It's going to stand, uh, swing out to the side up in the air. Okay. So again, you can either drag for more balance support or lift. All right. Hold on to that balance support as necessary. And we're going out to the side one and back two back three back four back. Now this is five. You can switch here or keep on one leg. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides and one. Two, three, four. Now this is five. Here you can switch legs or keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Might want to shake up the hips a little bit. There we go. All right, now you're going to have one foot ahead of the other. The more in line those two feet are, the more in line, such as standing on a tightrope, they are, the harder this is going to be to balance. The further apart your feet are, the wider the base of support, the easier it is. Okay, so find something challenging yet doable. And then from here, I'm going to get you just to lift up one arm, down, and then the other arm. Lift up one, 
down and then the other. Now, anytime a balance exercise doesn't feel very challenging, a really easy way to make it harder is just to change your line of sight. So rather than looking straight ahead, which is what our bodies are really used to, you can try just looking up slightly. And you will be amazed <laughs> at how much that impacts your balance or looking to the side or the other side. You can even try those without the arm movement, just looking up without the arm movement and then to the side. And now we're just gonna switch which foot is forward. So switch the positions of your feet. And again, you can lift one arm at a time. If you're doing this seated, I will highly encourage you to try the different head positions or just moving the eyes if you've got a sore neck. You can even try closing your eyes. Your eyes do so much with helping you balance and helping your body know where you are in the space around you. It's actually an important reason to get your eyes checked on a regular basis and make sure if you do have any sort of um, glasses that your prescription is up to date. There's also other things that can affect your balance, like being low on sleep, being dehydrated, um, being just a little bit either sick or having, and you know, if you're in the midst of allergies. Or broken rib. Broken rib, absolutely, being in pain. And rest there, everybody. Okay. Well done. Very, very well done. Have a seat. Now that was a lot of fun. Whoopee. Have a drink. Whoopee. Yep, drink is important of water. Oh, and now yeah, I'm gonna here. get you guys to sit with your feet and knees wide apart. We're just gonna do an exercise that's really good for the back. Um, some of you have done this with me before. All we're gonna do is we're gonna move forward, but moving just from the hips. So it's a bend forward at the hips. It should feel tight here, maybe on the outside of your hips, and then slowly come up. And your back should stay completely straight. So keep your chest and head And just go slow, go to where your range is. If it feels tight within those kind of inner thighs or at the hips, that's a good sign that you're uh, doing the right movement. And just go slow and steady. Great job team. Good work. Two more. Forward and back. Last one. Forward and back. Good work, everybody. All right, let's just lift up an elbow, gently push it back. It is time to stretch. Remember, stretch time is also a great time to ask questions or to have more of a group discussion on things. Switch arms. Is that your puppy? Uh, no. That is the upstairs dog. Oh. oh no. So I apologize if you heard him at all. 
he is not mine <laughs> and I don't really have control on him barking or not. It's kind of like living. My puppy is in his crate. He's not maybe, when two, maybe when two o'clock hits, I'll bring him out for you. Okay. Good. If you would like to see him. Yeah. I would love to. Of course. He, he actually, you might have heard him at the beginning of class. He was whining a little bit. He was pretty put out about being in his crate. <laughs> now stretch one hand down, stretch the other up. But you'll be amazed at how much he's grown. I forgot his name. Maverick. Oh, Maverick. Maverick. <laughs> That's right. There's a great musical group by that name. Is you there? Should, you should Google them. They play really good stuff. Oh, brilliant. I'll have to check it out. My grandson's Great Dane is called Maverick. Really? And he's huge. <laughs> That's interesting because someone who's a real Maverick is very bold and adventurous and independent and really their own person. <laughs> switch legs and I would have never thought to describe a great Dane that way. No, he's not a maverick. <laughs> he's, he's a marshmallow. <laughs> they got the wrong M name. <laughs> they do. And his sister is called Pepsi. Pepsi. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh, I'm cute. telling you. And when they both stand side by side, I feel like an Oreo cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Either Cecilia wishes to speak or has made a mistake, one or the other. Yeah, well, Zoom sometimes picks up a lifting hand. Uh, mine will do that too. Oh, we'll I see. sometimes do that as a, oh, oh you're raising your hand. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. It never I, and I don't know how to stop it. Um, and it, it's not really helpful for exercise because we get moving all sorts of ways and Oh. Stretch a leg out, everybody. Reach towards your toes. But if any of you do have a question, please just, just ask away. Make sure you're not on mute and just belt it out. That's a good stretch. Yeah, you should be. Are you getting a new swimming pool in Kelowna? Uh, that's right. The new, um, they're re, redoing yep. the Parkinson Rec Center. Yeah, I wondered if they were going ahead with that. Yeah, they are, well, it's been needed for years. They're yeah. already way, way past capacity. So it, it definitely is in the works. Um, I've got a client who works in the, in the city. Oh, yeah. With part of the not the marketing team, but give, communicating to the general public about what new events or uh, projects are happening, switch legs. Yeah. And so they were giving me some information about it. it sounds like a really great thing. Oh, that'll be costly. It will be. Um, but when you look at, they're doing a couple, looking at a couple cost recovery um, plans such as they're going to have a couple of business rentable spaces. Ah. Uh -huh. They haven't quite figured out because they want to make sure it's it's still matching community need, not right. just using up space. No, that makes but sense. They're looking, yeah, so they are thinking maybe a physio, um, allowing a private care physio to rent out the space. Yeah. Or one of those multidisciplinary clinics or something. Well, that's great. But it's, yeah, it's needed. They do a lot of community programs, which is really neat. But does the Y run that one like the other pool or not? No, no. Parkinson is is the city owned and the YMCA has a pool in Rutland and one in the Mission. Mission, yeah. H2O. That's right. The yep. H2O, that's right. Just turn sideways, gang, or just drop a leg back underneath your seat. There we go. How's everybody feeling after all that cardio? Tired. Tired. Yeah. I'm for rest. Yep. So what I'm going to encourage you all to do 
uh, later today. Well, one is make sure you're drinking water today and tomorrow, especially, um, cause that was a lot of cardio and make sure you practice your breathing pattern. So just like we did at the beginning of class with a hand on your belly, that slow, steady inhale and that slow, steady exhale through pursed lips. Um, super, super important that you are exercising your breathing pattern. Okay. That's going to maximize your exercises and maximize your breathing ability and lung capacity. Switch sides. Is blowing balloons good? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You've got to be cautious um, because, because there's the visual. The visual is good because it helps you understand um, trying to reach a goal of how big you want that balloon. Um, but it, because there's that visual, some people will overextend their breathing, trying to get a bigger balloon. Okay. So, so do you count like the breaths, like you breathe in maybe to a certain count, hold to a certain count and then blow out to a certain count. You can do that. Absolutely. Um, you can, you can, you can also close your eyes and blow out. So you're not actually seeing how big the balloon gets. You're just doing it by feel for your lungs. And then when you open your eyes, you can see what the size is approximately, and then repeat it five times to get it to that same size. Does that make sense? Yeah. But what I was doing was I was breathing into the count of eight or four other taking like a, mm -hmm. holding it right. for six and then blowing out for eight. I don't know where Perfect. I went. That yep, one? that's great. That's great. And if you're new to something like that, guys, I would start off with a two or three second inhale and a three or four second exhale, making sure you don't feel dizzy because um, those long, deep breaths, when you're not used would, to them, I do they can get you feeling down. dizzy. The best is to do it sitting down in a comfortable sofa, not even on your bed, on the sofa. So that that's right. If you fall or feel dizzy and keep water near you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and try to catch it before it gets dizzy. Have those couple warning signs ahead of time. So gang, that's two o'clock. Um, Maureen, if you're able to hang on the class for just a moment, for those that want to see the puppy, I can grab him real quick. <laughs> There's a couple of you did request. 